Bonjour, this is uh, Cyril from Work Smarter, Live Better. In this video, I want to share one simple suggestion um, that can make a big difference to your well-being. I'm at the moment like probably many people working from home. Now, uh, really exciting time at the moment uh, in Australia because it's the start of spring and the weather is starting to be really good. Uh, it's starting to be warm. Now, let me um, show you uh, here. Look at that. It's an absolutely stunning day. Uh, warm. The sea is beautiful. So it's... Oh, let me come back on the, on this one. Just so wonderful. Um, like many people, I'm working from home, but it's different because I've been working from home uh, for years and years and years. So it's, for me, it hasn't made a big difference. But since the start of COVID, uh, a lot of people are working from home either completely or partially. And it's really interesting because I saw that at the beginning, many people were excited. I'm super excited. I work from home. I have more time with my kids. I have less commute. And then I think after a few weeks, reality hit. And although, yes, they have less commute, less they were probably more present with their kids. Um, but actually, uh, one of my clients had a, an expression that really struck me. Say, Cyril, the issue for me is my work bleed into my personal life. And I mean, what do you mean by that? And he said, well, you know, I now work from home. And um, although in the evening when it's six o'clock or seven o'clock and I decided I want to stop working. It's so easy to push it a little bit more and to work a little bit longer. And before you know, it's 7, it's 7.30 and so on. It's also so easy to go and then come back to your desk and to your email later on. And I say, well, little by little, because I'm working from home, my uh, work is starting bleeding on my personal life, which I thought was a quite interesting way of saying this. So I want to make some very simple suggestion on this one. Um, few things. First of all, uh, make a decision It's when is your end of the day, uh, end of the work day. So decide what's the time. There's a crucial time which is the last thing you do in your work day. So let's say you decide to stop working at six o'clock and you say okay um, six o'clock uh, is my end of work day. And so make a decision and I would actually suggest that you put it in your calendar. You have a meeting with yourself every day at six o'clock now, you can adapt it depending on the day, but a recurrent meeting with yourself at six o'clock, that's the end of the day. That's my first suggestion. The second one is um, spend probably five, ten minutes at the end of the day at six o'clock to disconnect. What does that mean? One, um, I close the open loops. I go through my day and sometimes I forgot to do something. Sometimes I started something. I didn't have the time to finish it. And I don't want to keep that in my brain. And so... Uh, take a pen and paper, write it down, and all the things that you've missed. Don't keep the open loop open in the back of your mind. Write it down, all the things you've missed. Um, second, it is having a quick look at the next day. So you look at your next day, and you say, hey, what do I need to do, and so on. So you know what time you're starting, you know what you have in mind. You, you, you're a bit more at, at peace on this one in your brain. And the third one is, have a little disconnect ritual. Um, <coughs> One of my clients had a great idea. He said, Cyril, what I'm going to do every day when I finish working is I'm going to do a little walk, five, ten minutes walk around the block. And so it's going to be five, ten minutes walk, but that's going to be my way of disconnecting so that when I come home, I'm a bit refreshed. And a super smart idea. Now, there's many ways you can disconnect, but having a short one. The impact for you, in my view, is to be more present. When you start your personal day at 6 o'clock or 6.30 or whatever, being present is such an important thing. You're more present at home. You're probably going to be a better father or a better uh, mom or a, 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 be a better partner. You're 100% what you're doing rather than still being in, in work mode. Um, since the, the start of COVID, I've been asked to do many workshops with clients on not only working smarter, but working smarter remotely or actually working smarter hybrid. If that's of interest, drop me an email. We can talk about that. Always be great to um, you know, work with you and your team. Um, this is This Week, Work Smarter, Live It A Tip. I hope you enjoy it. You have a lovely day. Cheers.